Hello friends, welcome to Apex Chess Academy. Today we are going to see one of my favorite game. Just due to this game, I have started playing King's Gambit, King's Knight Gambit especially. And my favorite player for this King's Gambit is none other than the leading player of the King's Gambit who has put lots of effort to to make this opening very popular okay it's Morphe okay so Morphe has played King's Gambit so many times in his career uh, but today's uh, variation basically was played by someone else uh, first against Morphe in 1858 and then uh, Somehow Morphe was uh, able to win, able to survive against this variation. And in the same year, in December, uh, in fact, Morphe played against Anderson, the same variation, and he won. Okay, so let's go directly to the game. Morphe was white. He played e4, e5, and f4. This is known as King's Gambit. So I played King's Gambit from 2006 to 2013 probably in my career and uh, then I have just switched some other openings like Italian scotch but okay um, after ef4 this is known as king's gambit accepted and if you play bishop c5 or d5 which is known as king's gambit decline so after e into f4 knight f3 g5 and after g5, basically there are two variations. In 80s, uh, basically this bishop, 18th century, basically this bishop c4 move uh, was very popular here. And after bishop c4, there are again two lines, either bishop g7 or g4. And if someone plays g4, then people are used to play some crazy variations after short castle, gf3, queen f3. And it's really fun to play this variation. Although the modern computer will simply refute it, but practical point of view is still not easy. And uh, according to the database, still white has a decent score, probably around around fifty six percent, if I'm not wrong. Um, <clears throat> but here. Uh, this is just like a roll the dice if you play bishop c4, g4 and castle. Instead of that, if you just want to play some solid stuff where you are just keeping something in your hand too. So, I would just recommend to start with h4 rather than um, this bishop c4. So, after h4, now g4, now knight e5. Now here are a few moves like d6, h5, knight f6, knight f6 which is the standard move and here white played knight into g4 and it looks like okay after knight into e4 white is in trouble um, but here the preparation starts okay so if you are if you just want to uh, think here you can just pause the video and try to find out the best move is white Okay, so here it's d3. We are just attacking the knight, and yes, I know it's coming to g3, but we are just inviting. Okay, so after just knight g3, we can play now. Guess what? Yes, boom, bishop into f4. Still, we are attacking the knight, and it looks like okay, we are just lo losing our rook, but that's the part of the home preparation here there are basically two variations uh, one is just queen e7 check bishop e2 and now knight into h1 but still it's not over bishop g5 and after say queen e6 you can just give knight f6 check and of course king d8 is just a blunder because of knight d5 and knight c7 mate so king e7 now knight d5 the knight d5 check king d6 and it still looks like we are just a whole rook down and we cannot do anything but this position is still 
still plus for white here you can just play c4 and it's a tremendous attack it's almost a winning position you just try to figure it out what next but it's just a winning position okay so guys i just keep uh, the rest of the stuff for you so you will just love to enjoy uh, to exploit further okay so here after queen e7 um, we are just winning so now let's let's check what will white do after knight into h1 and in fact in game anderson played knight into h1 so after knight h1 here white can continue with again pause the video and try to find out the best move yes it's we need to check and here bishop e7 again we are going to meet him after knight f6 and bishop f6 check so it is forced for black to start with queen e7 and here after knight f6 check again the force move king d8 again the force move boom bishop into c7 check king into knight d5 check king d8 knight is on bishop is on and it looks like what has I mean what has just a queen but at the same time white has given three pieces one rook and two minor pieces for the queen so that's too much right um then here in game queen g4 was played um and then uh, basically morphe won after queen g4 d6 okay so what's the threat of queen g4 uh, just threat is to trap this knight with the move queen h3 uh, so here black is forced to play this d6 move and now after queen f4 black played rook g8 in order to uh, move his knight to g3 and here white played queen into f7 and here uh, black anderson played bishop into h4 check but bishop h4 was just a bad move instead black can play rook f8 here and after queen into h7 just knight g3 and probably here black is more than fine even black will just start pressing white so instead of this on move number 14 i would just recommend to play queen f3 and which is still still a novelty which i have found probably few years ago um, and here the point is anyhow we are not going to win a piece after queen g4 so why we should play queen g4 it's just like a threat uh, the player who is not able to find d6 and rook g8 to correct moves then you are able to win but if you are playing against any strong player you cannot go for queen g4 but instead queen f3 that's the correct move and it looks like okay we are just giving the h4 pawn with a check and then knight will come to uh, g3 yes it's true but still after G, after bishop into g3 check let's say king d2 and here the problem starts because you are not able to play this check and now my idea will be just to trap this knight after g4 in future um maybe i can just even consider queen g4 maybe queen f7 and at the same time i am just planning knight a3 knight b4 the, just try to uh, squeeze this king this king cannot run to this c7 and our idea is just to play d4 maybe just bishop d3 bishop c4 and then probably rook into and even if this knight comes to g3 that looks too difficult because still we have some moves like uh, queen f4 at some point so this position is still still uh, I mean, it's a double edge. I'm not saying that white is winning, but I really like to play this kind of positions from both colors, and it, it's really sh very very sharp. Uh, but queen f3 is uh, definitely an improvement over the move queen g4. Uh, so hope you have enjoyed this uh, this 
this game this topic and this line this h4 idea and the way the morphe played this knight f6 and knight into g4 which is really very interesting although there are lots of ways to continue uh, in future as well i'll just uh, come up with uh, another ideas in king's gambit as well and some standard openings as well but it is just really fun i mean you can just explore further where you'll simply love to um, uh, go further even further from here and uh, this queen f3 move i will cover in my novelty section in my future videos so guys in between if you want to just explore it further you can explore it thank you friends stay tuned for my future videos